Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and do another headset review. What I will be introducing to you today is the Be Excellent GM1 gaming headset. These have actually one unit here. On some of these other ones you might see a little spacer in between. These ones aren't like that. It has a little pad up here which is really soft. Check it out. I actually like the fact that these are thin up here. It has a little logo there on the side. Pretty cool. That's going to light up blue. It's going to look awesome once I turn these on. Cushions. Um, of course, not real leather, but who wants real leather and cushions? They don't have the mesh like I've seen sometimes before. As, f as far as the kickstand here for the mic, I've always liked that better than the ones that push out. Let's check out the uh, cable here. Looks like a standard cable. I mean, it's pretty thick, but most of them are. So that's what she said. Looks like it has a USB. This is going to most likely be for the RGB or, excuse me, the LED lights in here. And it has a 3.5 millimeter. And this will be for the ground and for the mic. Now, if you want to do a uh, one to two tie, guess what? It has one included, which is awesome. Um, I actually use these, I really do. So what you do is, you, in case you've never used one, you just connect it and one is for the mic and one is for the headset. And if you don't want to use the mic, you can just leave it unplugged, use the headset, vice versa, or if you want to use both of them. Or what doesn't come included, but I do have, is a adapter that can turn these into a USB. That one as far as a volume button, the controller is a standard um, pulley. You know, just the ones where you push up and push down. It's got like the little rigid end there. It's circular. It's got an off and an on here for the power, um, which usually they don't even have a power button. But what, what is good about this is if you decide you're done with these, but you're going to leave them plugged in, turn them off. I do have a pair that doesn't do that. So in order for me to turn them off so they're not lit up in my room all night long and I'm burning electricity or worried they're gonna get hot, which they don't, but I always worry anyway, I have to reach behind my computer or at my USB station and unplug it or turn it off every single time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and listen to this. I wanna know what it sounds like. I'm gonna give you the best, most honest review I can as far as the sound quality. I deal with sound quite a bit every day, so uh, I'm not going to say I'm a professional, but I know what I want to hear. Uh, I know that we need to be able to listen to a lot of the details as far as tones, uh, frequencies. Um, so I'll be right back and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, I'm back. So I just got through listening to a demo here, a surround sound demo. And surround sound excellent the mid-tones not as crisp as i'd hope you know they're just a tiny bit muffled but let me tell you something that i did notice earlier now originally i had mentioned to you about being able to put these on the one to two ties and then even the usb at the end don't do that the sound quality was horrible with this when i first put these on I was afraid that these were damaged, but they're not. So I took that off and I just put these two on and it sounded good. Took these two off and just a 3.5 millimeter sounded great. Strongly suggest just the 3.5 millimeter. If you have to, you can do these. You're not gonna lose a whole lot of quality, but you will lose a little bit. Overall, I'd give these a 4.6 out of five. I wanted to show you something. So they light up, has a logo there. I really like that logo it's there too. Feel free to leave a comment below. I will be doing better quality videos. I'm still new at this. If you have any suggestions, let me know, especially as far as software editing equipment. And um, that's it.